It wasn't quite a joint appearance. In fact, Kim Guadano and Phil Murphy were never in the room at the same time, by design, evidently. But as a first look at the two major party candidates for governor in this very early stage of the campaign, it was a display of contrasts in substance and style. Guadano, awkwardly folksy. So you used to be able to have a lot of fun. Now you can't have any fun at all because everybody micromanages it, second guesses it. That's, I don't care. You like me or you don't. Murphy, awkwardly professorial. I understand that this meeting has traditionally been the first official event of the general election campaign. And I do find that very fitting, especially given the myriad challenges we face as a state. In theory, the NJBIA would seem to represent home turf for Guadano, whose portfolio as the state's number two has been heavy with business development. For Murphy, his time as a Goldman Sachs executive notwithstanding, he had to sell an agenda chock full of items that will be paid for in part by the more affluent and the business community. In other words, these people. Guadano knows this community well. You can't afford to live here anymore. The taxes on the programs that my opponent will talk to you about will cost roughly $50 billion. The budget is 35. Where's that money coming from? Take a look around. It's coming from you. Your opponent says that your list of promises is going to cost the state $50 billion a year. What do you think of that math? That sounds like alt math to me. I wholly reject the myth that lifting up employees and giving them a pathway to the middle class through higher wages, expanded educational opportunity, and stronger workplace protections kills jobs. It is simply not true. It is a false choice. I said it the night on primary night. I'm going to say it again tonight. If we elect Phil Murphy to be the governor of the state of New Jersey, then the only person who will be able to afford to live here will be Phil Murphy. Come on, you can have a sense of humor. That was funny. It was as close to an audience reaction as either candidate received on a night that underperformed on drama, but confirmed that there is a genuine choice, political, philosophical, and economic, to make in the fall. For NJTV News, I'm David Cruz.